Today we're here with my good buddies Lawson and Nathan. They've never done any really big game fishing before, so what do you guys think? You guys ready? Pumped. Can't wait to do this. Bass fishing, bluegill, little stuff. So you're in pond, the pond fishermen. That's about Ponds, all we've ever done. Lakes, so the, rivers. the pond guys have come to the ocean and they're gonna experience some giant fish. Let's do it. Topwater jacks, early morning. What a beat! That's crazy, right? It's unreal! I can't believe you just cut something of that size loose. He's right there, look at him. He's gonna, get, he's gonna go right down the rock. It's unreal! There you go. That's the biggest fish I've ever seen in my life. That's the biggest fish you've ever seen in your life? I mean, like, other than a whale or something. Oh, yeah. It's a big one, right? Oh, yeah. See, they are everywhere. Oh, it's oh, a giant, dude! Man. Oh, oh, wow. Nice. Oh, yeah. Hold him up. There you go. Yeah, oh, man. yeah. Where are we put him? Uh, we I don't know. This one. Keeping him or toss him? Keeping this one. Toss him. Fish are just rip it up. Look, they're right here. They're right here. Look, they're right there, dude. You gotta keep tension. That's so gotcha. important. There's a lot of jacks and bluefish this morning. We got them cruising down these rocks, chasing mo. There's a big school mo here, and they're getting absolutely destroyed by jacks. Jacks are from five to 20 plus pounds. There's some big ones in here. Lawson had a giant on. They got off the last minute there, but we're gonna keep fishing with these jacks. Once this tide changes, starts going out, then we're gonna start shark fishing. When I fish at inlets or jetties for sharks on an outgoing tide, I like to have a really long leader. So I use like a PR or an FG knot to attach a heavy lead, like a 150 pound mono leader, to my braid. And I want my leader to go through my guy. And you get the only knot you can use that consistently will not fail is either an FG or a PR knot. It's going to go through your guy. It's very clean and it's actually one of the strongest knots you can tie.
Got to make sure, guys, when, you, when you're tying this FG knot, you want to make sure you got tension on that line. It's, that's the most important thing. It's a tension-based knot. Better the tension, or more consistent the tension, the stronger the knot's going to be. So we blow our balloon up. We use a balloon to get the uh, to keep the bait afloat. Use one of these clips right here, balloon Fisher King clip. What are we using for bait? We're going to use. I think we're going to start off with because there's a lot of jack of alls around. You guys just take this clip right here, that's right on like that. There's a lot of jack of alls around right now, so I think we should start with what's plentiful. That's what they're eating. Mullet. He's got. He's he's been chomping on mullet all day. Go catch a shark, my man. Are you up first, Lawson? Whatever you say. I don't know. It looks pretty much a long shot to me, but hey, I ain't pro. It can happen. I got faith. In a few minutes, maybe a little more than a few minutes, we're going to be holding a shark. A giant beast of a shark. It's going to happen. When, they, when he grabs it, dude, this line comes off this reel a thousand miles an hour. Sometimes you can't even close a bale. The black tip. Lawson, you ready? Yeah, here. Boom! Boom! Back up, back up, back up a little bit. Right here. There you go. Look at that. He's dumping, baby. Oh my word. Man! You just let him go? Yeah. What do you do? When do you bring it in? Hold on. If he jumps right now, he'll break the hook. Oh my word. He's getting low. Oh my word. You never felt any power like that before, have you? Man. Hey, real, 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 real. Don't let the line go slack. Don't let it go slack. Okay, gotcha. If he's running, don't let him run. There's 400, there's over 400 yards of line on this reel. And this is a big one. Keep it up, real, 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 real. He's still there, he's still there, he's still there. Keep the line tight. Keep, keep it tight. Woo! It's getting low, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, stop, stop. Okay. And then drag it a little more. It's getting low. Real, 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 real. Faster, 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 faster. He's charging, he's charging, he's charging, he's charging. Come on, faster, 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 faster. Faster, 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 faster. Maybe a loss. See? I don't think he's there anymore. Man. Now he's gone. What he was doing, he was trying to... See how he kept stopping that data? I think yeah, he was I mean, trying he was to like turn. Yeah, I mean, like a complete cold. He might have cut, he might have bit off blood the wire, we'll see. Or broken the hook. We had, we had a lot of heat on them. Yeah, we had about 15 pounds There's drag. a ton of pressure. I don't like to use too much pressure on the, on the, on the black because they, they break the hooks. Dude. Look at that. See, that's why I don't like putting too much pressure on them because they break the hook, dude. That's Souvenir insane. now, man. Good night. So what he was doing, he was twisting in the water. When they twist, it's like a drill. Do they apply too much torque to the hook? They just, they just bend it, it out. It just warps it. Man, yeah. you gotta get you some titanium. Wow. It's pretty gnarly, right? That's unreal. Look at it, right? So this hook, look at the difference, right? So look at the, how thick the swivel is. Look at the hook, right? So it just shows you the power, all the pressures on the hook. Sure. The swivel, you don't even see any distortion in the eyes of the swivel. And look how much thinner the wires in the hook. So all the pressures on the hook, and he was twisting, and he just bent it and dude. then slipped off. Yep. That's all it takes, man. Wow. Crazy guys. There's some big fish here. Man. Now I know you don't fish a lot, but this this means a lot. This is a twenty thousand Shimano Stella. Okay. There's a lot of line on here. That, re that fish dumped this reel in seconds. That was a giant fish, dude. It's unreal. It's never insane. seen anything like that before, have I you? I can't believe that. I mean, look how big that metal is, and it just... Like nothing. Spit it out. Like nothing. Wow. It's unbelievable, right? Unreal. So, strike one for you. Nathan's turn now. Nate's gonna Fresh bring bait. home the baby. He's, He's gonna, gonna bring you, it you home. You confident? Oh, yeah. I'm confident in him. We're gonna get it. Well, you were right, man. We were gonna get a bite, right? Oh, man. I, get a bite. We're getting a shark today. We're gonna get a shark. Dude. We're gonna hold no a shark. No more straight hooks. No more straight hooks. We're gonna hold a shark. Well, we're not gonna pick him up, but we're gonna. We're definitely gonna touch him. You ain't holding the shark. I mean, I don't know. Let's we'll see. Putting our balloon back on right now. Fresh balloon. Fresh hook. There we go. Perfect. Ready to go. Current just sucking that baby right out there. This is it. 
This is my turn. I'm, I'm betting within the next five minutes there's going to be a shark on there. Next time, I'm winning this war. This ain't happening again. I don't think you can help that. But I mean, will. when you hook a monster, I mean, there's not much you can do about what it does to your hook. Look at that. That's unbelievable. All I got to say is there must have been a mighty beast that? on the other side of that. Maybe I'll get lucky and get the same guy twice. Got a nice bluefish head out there, and I think it's gonna take a matter of minutes for us to get a bite here. Got a bite. Here we go. Bite right now. Damn. Get it. Yes. Bull shark. Here. It's a bull shark. Real. 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 Here. Hand, hand above the reel. Hand above the reel. It's a bull shark. Yeah. We're gonna crush this fish. You watch. We're gonna teach you fish. Yeah, We're gonna show him his boss. You see how he's taking off like slow and he's not really doing anything? Yeah. He doesn't have the power to pull that drag. Black tip on the other hand, smoked it. This, this is a small bull shark, he's probably like 70 pounds. They don't like that. Really? Maybe. Feels like I got a giant beast on here. But from talking to the pro, he said it's probably not the biggest shark he's ever caught. It's picking up, he's getting bigger, bro. Hi. But the more we I'm pull done. on him, the bigger he gets. That's, if that's we all that lose him, I'll tell you, it'll grow three or four I feet. will guarantee you this is the biggest fish I have ever had in my life. I feel like I'm hung on the Titanic and the motors are running. Man, I got some pressure on him. I've been holding pressure on this thing for like 10 minutes. I know. Keep it up. Up, down. Where's it at now? Right, right in, in front, front of us. He's being, he's being stubborn. Can we be pulling on the side or? No. How close do you get it before you? Well. They go too close, they, they, they really... When I was a kid, all we did, we put this thing over your shoulder and you just start running on the beach. Oh, you you just keep for? running until they come on the beach. Y'all are sharp. With big old bass. Yeah. All right, let's, let's start walking to the beach. Thank you. All right. Here, I'm going to you now, ready? And then I want you to run that way 50 yards. 50 got yards. It? 50 yards, go. 50 yards, you got it. Oh, no, 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 not like that. Not like that. <laughs> Real facing this way. There you go. There you go. Come on, you're No, fishing, like biggest shark. Uh, I don't know, like a thousand pounds. Like how many feet? 14. And that guy was like how long? Five. Five? Yeah. Man. Yeah, it's, 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 it's definitely an ecosystem out here. I mean, you, you have to understand, that size shark, there's a reason why he's hanging out close here. Because in the big water out there, you could eat it. Really? Sharks love eating sharks. Oh yeah, watch out for that in the woods there. And, uh, but you know what, dude? That bull shark will grow to be up to nine, 10 feet long. He'll weigh five, six hundred pounds. No one's gonna mess with him. I mean, you just look at that thing's mouth. That thing could just like eat you alive. He hasn't seen Jaws yet. If you think he needs to watch the movie Jaws, tell us right now in the comment section that he needs to watch Jaws. You gotta go watch Jaws tonight, bro. I can play the theme song. Have but I ain't never Jaws? watched the movie. No. You haven't seen Jaws either. No, I can sing the theme song, play the right, little piano boys, thing. Your homework tonight is to watch the movie Jaws. Go when you get to your hotel, Fake rent it. I don't care. Fake rent it, song. watch it. You'll appreciate everything you're doing. No. <laughs> it's a great movie. You gotta watch it. I'm sure you guys like watching it too. I dedicate this balloon to my buddy Outlaw. It's yellow. We haven't had a bite here in hours. We haven't seen a fish in hours. It, it's just, 
tough fishing out here right now. The sharks were definitely biting really good at the beginning of the outgoing tide, but it has dramatically slowed down. Austin, I don't know, man. It's been awesome, though. It's I, been a good time. I think ever since Nathan's shark, I might have scared them all off. You think so? He's just yeah. not believing in it enough. I mean, you got to have faith here. Well, we can have faith, but you know what? Like, one of the most important lessons you can learn as a fisherman is learning when to call it quits. You can just sit out here all day and be stubborn, catch Tommy. nothing, and waste your time. You don't want to ever waste your time. So, but I will say this, we're going to spend another about 20 minutes out here, try to get lost in a shark, and if not, we'll go get some good food, have it a uh, good conversation. It's a win-win. Yeah, it's a win-win. We're going to get some good food and just have a good time and regroup and try again another time. Here we go. That's a calorie overload right there. It's okay, I just took my cholesterol test. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. We've been fishing all day. Nothing like eating a chocolate chip pancake, guys. I'm telling you, it's so good. We've eaten, we feel a million times better. We got chicken and dumplings, chicken noodle soup, pancakes, we got fried fish, we got everything. Our stomachs are full. Everything on the menu. You guys got a long trip, I got a long trip. They're going back to Orlando, we're going back down south. We caught some nice sharks, and we caught one nice shark actually. Hooked some nice sharks. We hooked some big ones. This was a good starter, yeah. and I'll guarantee this is not going to be our last trip. No, it will not be our last trip. You guys look at the shark. Josh man. is the man. You Next still, time. You caught a nice shark, dude. You hooked the a big shark. You guys, we, 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 the second we showed up, they saw Spaz Joss. They were chasing like the, the fish, were going crazy. That was epic. That was epic. Make sure you guys go check out their TV show, Bringing Up the Baits. What network is it on? Up TV every Thursday night. Up TV every Thursday night. Check it out. Link to it in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Frog Tongs, designed for you, created for the outdoors, and Sudacore Nutrition.